love is in the air. Yeah, it's Valentine's Day. Plus, a group of soldiers are back home after serving our country overseas. 27 First News reporter Julie Bursick is in Warren to tell us about the big homecoming, which actually happened earlier than expected. Hey, Dave, I found this uh, sign here on the ground. It was probably quickly dropped as a family member was welcoming back his or her soldier. Uh, it's members of the A38. They are back home tonight. 130 members back with their families. Now, Packard Music Hall basically for the most part is cleared out, but let me tell you about 20, 30 minutes ago, it was the place to be as family members were reuniting with their loved ones for the first time in almost 10 months. There was a lot of hugs, a lot of tears, a lot of just cheering together, reuniting with sons and daughters, husbands and wives. I talked to one family and there's, this was their son's first deployment. It was a little hard on them too, as you can imagine, not being able to talk to him all the time and know what's going on. They tell me they are so happy that he is back home with them tonight. And they actually have their Christmas tree set up for him and Christmas presents, definitely capturing back in on those moments that they lost. So these 130 men and women are back at home with their families this evening. They've been in Afghanistan for about 10 months, performing a number of different um, jobs and duties as being the military police. But for right now, their main duty is just enjoying their time with their families and welcome home to each and every single one of them. For now, reporting live in Warren, I'm Julie Bursick. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.